in many ways, I made a mistake calling the phenomena disruptive, disruptive, because there's so many connotations of the word disruptive in the English language, and so there are a lot of people who call anything that is a dramatic improvement or a, a, a breakthrough, we call it disruptive, and that's not true. So almost always, disruption is built within the business model of the technology, of, of the enterprise, not by developing the best technology. So typically, you can take a technology and deploy it onto the California freeway or on a, for, a corn field in Iowa. And how you deploy it determines its disruptiveness. And that's really an important one to do. And people say that I'm a Jewish mother of business in that I'm always worried about everything. <laughs> uh, but I worry about you guys, you know, because I think that you are very good at developing potentially disruptive innovations. But I don't think you're, you worry nearly enough about the business models that you have to build that would then take your technology into an application that competes against non-consumption. And I think that's a very important concept, and I don't think I'm totally wrong about that. 